Welcome back. Alex Jones is a conspiracy theorist who made hundreds of millions of dollars spreading the outrageous lies that the Sandy Hook shooting was a hoax. The grieving families finally sued him for defamation and they were awarded more than a billion dollars, but so far he hasn't paid them a dime. This is what happened last time I tried to hold him to account. Do you feel a sense of personal regret and remorse that your you know, actions on like air, these... that your actions yes, on air I, I inspired, don't feel as much regret inspired as the five... a lot of people finish. to think these people were actors and their kids didn't really die? Do you feel genuine five... remorse? You know, let me talk for any. Well, Five hundred thousand Iraqi children starved to death. No, that's and Madeline not the Albright did it on purpose. And said, oh, oh, you know, no, I feel way less. No, I legitimately question Sandy Hook, and I stand by what I did. You said it Those was families, a fake and a hoax. You let me finish. I'm not going to come back on your show in ten years, and you'll say, "Do you now apologize?" If I sat here and slit my throat on air, it wouldn't be enough for you. Well, this weekend, Alex Jones was banned from all mainstream social media platforms. Now Elon Musk has restored him to X, formerly Twitter, extolling his commitment, he says, to free speech. But where is the line on free speech? And does Alex Jones cross it? Well, here's a debate. It's a journalist, Glenn Greenwald, aggressive commentator, Namaki Konst, and YouTuber, Mark Meachin, also known as Count Dankula. Welcome to all of you. OK, Mark, you're with me, so let's start with you. Um, what, what do you feel about this? I mean, I've written a column for The New York Post saying I think it's an outrageous decision by Elon Musk, who only a year ago himself said that because one of his children had died in his arms, his own kids, that he never wanted to see anybody who would profit from the death of children for personal gain, for fame or politics. Now he's done a U-turn on that. Is he right? Yeah, I think he's completely right in doing it. It's Why? Elon Musk's company, so if he wants Alex Jones back on the platform, then he absolutely can. And he did put it to a poll to the public, you know, Vox Populi, Vox Day, and uh, people said they wanted him back on the platform, so he's brought them back on the well, platform. Well, it's, it's an amateur poll. Two million of his followers voted. We don't know how many times each one voted, etc., etc. It's not a sophisticated... Each, each account can only poll. vote once. Yeah, but, but my point is, is there a line, though, on free speech at all for you? For me personally, no. Nothing? No, no. I think that Alex Jones is, it should be able to go on Twitter. If they want him there, then that's fine. They can have him there and he can... Do you think what he said about is. the Sandy Hook uh, massacre was justified, then? Justified? Like, he has the right to say it. I don't, wouldn't say it was justified. Just, I mean, $1.2 billion worth of damages awarded against him for one of the most serious biggest, defamations. Biggest civil suit against an individual in the history of America. One of the worst defamations, yeah. actually, in terms of damages yeah. America's ever seen. Damages and defamation is not protected by the First Amendment. And yet you think he was entitled to say it? I think he had a right to say it. He had a right to, to, to say that a mass shooting that killed 20 young kids was a fake and a hoax, that the parents of the grieving dead were crisis actors. Uh -huh. Th these were statements which he repeatedly made which led to actual intimidation, harassment, death and rape threats and people in the street going up to these people and confronting them, these parents. You think all that is fine? I don't think it's fine. I never said it's what fine. Is it? I, said what he, is I said he has a right to do it. Does he have Does a right he, to yeah, do it? Yeah, agreeing that someone has a right to do it. Do you think he has a right something. to do that? Yeah, I think he has a right to do it. Really? Agree, agreeing that someone has a right to do something isn't the same as agreeing with what they say. No, no, I agree. Right? Uh, yeah, it's, I agree. It's a case of, you but know, you actually think he has a right to do what he did with the yes. consequences we now know happened? Yes, if, basically, yeah, a bunch of nutters did do a lot of awful stuff after mm. the fact, but that's basically going down the same route of, you know... Remember back in the 90s, they wanted to ban video games in uh, Dungeons and Dragons because they thought it caused violence and devil worship. Mm. Or you can't, you know, engage with this type of, you know, media, otherwise it's going to cause X, Y, Z, like rap music causes violence, mm. all that other nonsense. If we're saying, oh, this guy's not allowed to say his conspiracy theories or whatever you want to call them because some crazy guy out there might do something mental, then nobody can talk about anything at all. Well, you can. You just, yeah. There are limits to free speeches or everything else. Even First Amendment in America has a number of limitations to it. Let me go to uh, Namaki Kons. Namaki, what is your response to Elon Musk putting Alex Jones back on X? What I find so fascinating about Elon Musk is he ha he uses uh, a very loose absolutist definition of free speech for his needs, but for his company, uh, but doesn't use the same standards for, say, the algorithm. I mean, he has no problem giving Russian bots that boost some of these guests on the show uh, with the free speech rights, but does not give people of color and women the same rights. So this is not an equal playing field. Uh, number one, they're not the government. Number two, they're not following the United States free speech laws. There is, There are limitations, as you said, incitement, defamation, fraud, threats, child porn, obscenity. Those are uh, the limitations to free speech. And there is a whole lot of that going on on Twitter. So if he wants to be an equal playing field free speech absolutist, then clean up the bots, 
uh, clean up the algorithm, make it completely transparent and democratized, and let people like me and then people of color and smaller accounts have the same uh, effect as, say, someone who's being boosted by Russian bots. OK, let me bring in uh, Glenn Greenwald. Glenn, you know, you like me, you're a big supporter of the principle of free speech. And let's just lay that on the table. I call this show uncensored because I want it to celebrate free speech. But I've always been aware there are limitations. And under the First Amendment, which is one of the greatest protectors of free speech anywhere in the world, defamation is not protected under the First Amendment. And this was clearly one of the most serious defamations of a body of people that America has ever seen. So I don't understand why, just for that reason alone, why Elon Musk has performed this U-turn with Alex Jones. I think the issue, Piers, is what they do on the platform. We have all kinds of terrible people using social media. We have people who lied the United States into a devastating war in Iraq, including the current president of the United States. We have people who defame all the time, like the guest I just heard in my ear tried implying, though she wasn't courageous enough to say who she meant, that one of the people well, on no this panel is somehow by promoted by... Me, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm hearing a voice in my ear because I'm not actually done talking yet. So the standard peers that Absolutely. Elon Musk enunciated when he first bought uh, Twitter is one that I supported, even though he hasn't always adhered to it, which is... As long as people are using that platform in ways that the law allows speech to persist, to be able to be expressed, then everybody should be able to be heard. What they do outside the platform, I don't think we want social media, Facebook saying, oh, this person did something terrible off the pl platform. Now we're going to ban them. Otherwise, we're going to have big tech censors who sit in judgment of everybody's yeah, behavior. But, he, yes, yes, but, Glenn, but Glenn, on this, platform. right, but on this, right. Alex Jones did use Twitter to amplify his disgusting lies about Sandy Hook, and he will now be able to monetize all of his conspiracy theories to his heart's content on X without having paid a single dime of the 1.2 billion damages awarded against him, which should be going to the families of the Sandy Hook victims that he so cruelly defamed. That's my problem with this, is he's not just any old Joe who got deplatformed has got brought back. This is a guy at the centre of the biggest defamation case in recent times who hasn't paid any of his dues to these people. But, Piers, if he monetizes his platform on X, that is income that those plaintiffs will easily be able to get. And if he uses the platform to spread conspiracy theories or defamation, that falls outside of what free speech absolute is, is and, and I think Twitter would be justified in banning him. But what do you do? You ban people forever if they say something defamatory? Like I said, there are people who have done a lot worse than Alex Jones who are using Twitter, including bringing about wars, lying to deceive the public in elections, and I don't think that we want this standard that says anything other than as long as you say things that are within the First Amendment, you should be entitled to use social media. Once you don't, you should have a just punishment. He's been banned for many years now, and I think Elon Musk is saying, OK, it's time to bring him back and see how he uses the but platform so what to me? OK, or not. But you see, my, my criteria has always been that if you were a world leader uh, or an elected official, actually, of any kind, any level, then I think everything that you tweet should be left on the historical record in perpetuity, right? Uh, we've had a big issue here with ministers losing their WhatsApp messages at the crucial part of the pandemic. It shouldn't be allowed. It should all be public property, this kind of stuff. So I'd separate elected officials from ordinary people like Alex Jones. But what Alex Jones... But was what so about journalists? What about journalists who, who, who lied the, the, the UK and, and the US into war? There are plenty of those people who still are doing those things. They're still lying people into wars. They're still lying about wars. Do you, are you comfortable with having... I think Elon that's a good Musk point. I think, Zuckerberg honestly... Or Google what about Nazis? Judgment? Glenn, what about Nazis? I mean, you've defended Nazis in the past because you're a free speech absolutist as a lawyer. So why is it some people get more power when it comes to free speech, more rights when it comes to free speech, but others don't? Like who? Again, this is like not who? a level playing like, field. Like, like she, she's co she's complaining which, because nobody has an interest. Voice. She's complaining because nobody has an interest in watching her show or listening to her on Twitter. I don't have so a she's show, complaining Glenn. that the algorithm you know, somehow quiet her, me. suppress her. I am talking about algorithms the... in which people do not have equal rights. So you're using no, free no, speech. That's not the case at all. That's not how it was at all. Assuming that, 
you're assuming that Alex Jones has the same rights as everybody else on Twitter. And that is just not okay, true. You know what? Okay, listen, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very interesting debate. I wish I could talk about it longer. We've run out of time, but thank you, all of you. All I would say is, personally, there has to be a line with people like Jones who commit atrocious defamations, are not held remotely accountable for it, and are then welcomed back like free speech he's heroes. He's, he's, They're not he's free he's speech heroes. He's a, he's a hate speech monster <laughs> for me. But anyway, on Uncensored, you can disagree, as you have. Yeah. So good to see you.